Hi everyone, so I thought I would sit down and do a chatty vlog because I haven't done one in ages and it's nice and peaceful. It's Friday today. I feel like I haven't really spoken to you in ages um, because I haven't actually vlogged at all this week so you wouldn't know what's been going on in my week. But uh, yeah, it's Friday and it's basically the last day before half term so next week we'll have a whole week off which will be so lovely and I'm so excited and I think the kids are as well. I say that now and I'll probably be knackered by next week, but I'm really excited for the coming week because obviously it's Violet's birthday on the 30th, I've got lots of family coming over and I'm still debating on like her whole birthday. I'm so not organized with her birthday this year and I just don't even know why. I don't know if I just can't get myself in the mood, um, but I just haven't really decided on a theme. She keeps going on about Peppa Pig all the time and I'm not a Peppa Pig fan and I think, um, although I know she loves it and maybe I'll make her a Peppa Pig cake, that's what I was thinking. I haven't really gone down the sort of everything Peppa Pig theme because one, it gets really expensive and two, we're not necessarily having a party for her. She's still really young and she really doesn't have a massive amount of friends that I would say I know their parents and I'd invite them over, you know, and I feel like she's a bit too young to do like a party somewhere. So I'm kind of like stuck in the middle of, oh, I don't really know what to do, but either way, she's going to have a great day. We're going to make cupcakes and I'm going to make it all girly and happy birthday everywhere and, you know, basically it's going to be her special day on Thursday. And then through the week anyway, I said to the kids, we're going to have a really good Halloween themed week and we're going to do lots of different crafts and baking and just have a really good week, really relaxed. Um, I've got a few things planned like on my mind that I want to do with them. The kids have also got, they've already decorated them actually, but I'll show you, they've got little um, mini pumpkins each here and they've already decorated them already. This is Alistair's, he wrote his name. See, it says Alistair, and I don't know what that's about, but he's done a really funky looking face. Look at his face. And then he's got like a hand here. At first I didn't know what that was, but apparently it's a hand. You can see the little fingers. So Graham's actually got to cut that out, which is quite funny. And then Violet just did a whole load of scribbles. She done a nose. She done, you can kind of see a sort of a face coming out, like round. And she did lots of these for Violet, because that's what she loves doing for her name. So... Yeah, we're going to carve our pumpkins and yeah, it's going to be a really good week. Another exciting thing that I have to tell you is that if you don't follow me on Facebook, you wouldn't know this, but I've decided to do daily vlogging next week. So I don't know if I'm going to do the whole week. I might just do Monday to Friday if I have the time because we've got a busy Saturday. Um, not busy, but like we're going out in the evening and Saturdays are more like dossing days, so we don't really do much. Um, but I'm definitely going to be vlogging Monday to Friday, so you'll see a video up every single day. Um, and hopefully it might give you inspiration to do sort of certain things with your children during the half term week. <laughs> Generally, the last few weeks have been up and down. Um, I haven't mentioned this at all, but we actually lost Graham's gran about a week, a week and a bit ago. And um, it's just been really hard and it's been down and... It's really, you know, although she was really, really old, she was 88 and she was just such a lovely person. It's just so sad to lose anybody in your family. Graham and his ground were so, so close. He saw her every single day. He'd go in and see her, whether it's morning or midnight, he would be there just to see her. She'd ring up numerous times a day just to speak to him or say, my light, light bulb's not working or my sky's not turning on. Well, really, all you had to do was press a button. And she just, you know, he was very important to her and she was really important to him and it's just so sad that she now she's gone and you know some of you may know that a couple of years ago she did battle and with she fell over basically two years ago over two years ago now and they basically told us that she was going to die but she didn't and she completely went back into her house it, totally independent just having a couple of carers in like once twice a day and she's still been very mobile, but yeah, she basically survived another two and a half years, which was just amazing. She got to meet Violet as, you know, a proper little toddler, and she got to meet our new nephew, 
Enzo, um, which is obviously the great grandchildren. So she got to meet them and it's just so lovely, but it's just really sad, obviously. And we've got to deal with um, her, her funeral um, beginning in November, which is gonna be really hard. So yeah, we've kind of been up and down at the moment um, with general life. But anyway, on the up, the week's been really good. The kids have been really positive about school and nursery this week. Violet had to go in three times this week. Um, she's gone in Wednesday, Thursday and Friday just because I've had to work two days and then today I just need a bit of a rest day to be honest. I've been into Castle Point and Sainsbury's have a massive kiddie toy set at the moment. I'll totally get down there. I picked up some amazing stuff for Christmas for the kids, um, including like nephews and stuff. Ridiculously cheap um, and they just have a huge variety of stuff reduced at the moment, even homework stuff. Um, I actually found in the Halloween section, I wanted to some, find some actual Halloween plates, like proper plates, not the ones that you can just throw away for ages. And Asda didn't have any this week when I went there. So I actually found them. I found these cool ones. This is the only ones they had, but I really like them. They're really cool. So they can use those next week for like breakfast and lunches. Um, but they're only a pound each as well. So yeah, it's been quite eventful the last couple of weeks. Um, I'm not sure what else to say. We're actually off to a firework display tonight at Alistair's school, which is going to be really, really good. I'm really excited about it, actually, because I love fireworks and the kids love fireworks. And it's probably been a whole year since we've actually seen any. Um, but yeah, they have a fun fair and it will just be a really good evening. Um, I'm not sure what to do for dinner, though. I'm still deciding on that. I don't know why. I just, I'm not really sure what I'm in the mood for. Um, something really quick and easy, I think. Um, tomorrow the kiddies are actually going to mother-in-law's in the afternoon. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them in the morning. I could take them soft play or something. But I had my sister last weekend and we went to soft play and my god was it expensive. I went to one in Christchurch which is massive and I went there because my sister's obviously a little bit older. She's 11 and she kind of needs, you know, it needs to be more for her age as well as the little ones and they kind of cater for everyone. It cost £18.50 for all three of her, well, three of them and me, to get in. And I was just like, how much? Like £18.50 for a soft play. We were there, we weren't even there that long. We were there for like two and a bit hours. And then we went and got lunch elsewhere because the lunch didn't look that great, the menu. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do tomorrow. But in the evening, me and Graham have actually got a horse racing night. Um, one of our friends have put on a... Um, kind of they've recorded loads of horse races and we've had to choose a name for our horse um and it's basically raising money and funds for the cricket ground um which is brilliant and they're going to put on like dinners and stuff we're actually having i think there's like a stew um or like a pie a veggie option and then a curry like choice and we've chose the curry um it's like bring your own alcohol it's in like a big hall it's just raising money really and it's going to be really fun because all the cricket lot are going to be there and other people as well like family members and um, a lot of the wives and stuff so it would be a really good evening, really relaxed. So I'm looking forward to that and Sunday we haven't really got much planned. I haven't really thought about it to be honest. <laughs> so that is pretty much what's been going on. I've actually got to pick up Violet from nursery soon in an hour. I need to get some lunch because I'm starving. Um, but yeah, definitely tune in for next week. I really hope you enjoy my daily vlogs. I'm hoping to get them up. Do you know when you just worry because I just sometimes it's just so busy and everything's so hectic and editing and uploading, but I'm gonna make sure I do it and hopefully get every video up by the evening. So you should see them, you know, in the evening time. So yeah, I hope you enjoy them. I hope you don't get sick of seeing my face for the whole week. Um, Hopefully I won't be moaning too much about the kids. <laughs> oh God, Alistair and Violet were up so early this morning. I could not believe it. Because at the moment, obviously, in the, in the mornings, it's so dark. And I don't know, logically, I thought, well, they're obviously going to sleep in a little bit more because it's darker in the morning. No, both of them were up probably about six o'clock this morning. And I just, oh, we usually get up at seven. So an hour earlier, it's just like killed me. Um, although to be honest because we live in a bungalow it's all one level um, we just usually open our door and we can make sure we can see and hear you can just hear them running back and forth in each other's rooms and 
Yeah, so I feel pretty tired today and I think Violet's tired because she usually loves her sleep. But yeah, anyway, I hope you're enjoying this video. Um, I hope you have a good half term next week. I'm very excited and I will see you all on Monday probably.